One time I was on a date, it was going horribly, I went to the bathroom and I just, I caught myself off guard because I walked in and I saw this woman, just like this stunningly beautiful woman, standing across from me. And I realized two seconds later, oh my god, that's a mirror. I looked so hot that I went home with myself. Look who's here, look who's here. My fridge is like the size of a room. It's a chef's refrigerator. My building is actually an old Applebee's that's been renovated into an apartment complex with one apartment. It's mine. It's like a, an apartment not complex. Not complex. It's an apartment simple. It's an, it's an apartment single. It's just an apartment. There's a boy I'm mad about. I work in a factory. It's like my grandparents did. My parents didn't. No, he skipped a generation. The factory working. That's common. I work in a factory where we turn metal things into other metal things. For example, um, we turn like recycled hangers into paper clips. And actually, that's like ninety percent of what we do. Oh my dear. I'm freestyling. I channel people when I chant, like Christina Aguilera. Or whoever that sounded like. The music industry today is just totally going down hell. Hell. No, not like heaven and hell. Like, it's going down a hell. A hell is like a smaller mountain that goats live on. I just feel like passing out. I find attractive, um, wisdom. When you're wise, it's just who you are because it's who your soul is. So big and strong. Can you say yourself? I want someone who challenges me intellectually, spiritually, emotionally. Like, who's the best person to do that? Me. That's... Maybe I'm my soulmate. I mean, if I'm not choosing me, then my ideal dinner guest would have to be Albert Einstein. I don't know why. I just, like, his beard is cool. Oh, he didn't have a beard. I meant his hair on his head, not his face. Fourth ideal dinner guest, I'd have to say Robert Downey Jr. because, like, hello. Fifth ideal dinner guest, Ryan Gosling. I'll gossle you up. Sixth ideal dinner guest, oh, just Napoleon. Oh my god, I can't say that. All my ideal dinner guests are actually ideal bedroom guests, including myself. This question is so hard. Eighth ideal dinner guest, just a farmer. Like, any farmer. I just, I have a farmer fantasy. Drive to a farm, put some roofies and some pail of fresh milk. And when he drinks it, just put him in my trunk. I guess I, I could just invite him. I don't know why I'm, like, getting so criminal about this. I just call him up and invite him, the farmer, and then he'll say yes, and I can just make things happen just with my feminine wiles. I mean, how many times does, like, some really hot city girl just drive up to a farm and say, you, the one in the suspenders and things sticking out of your mouth, get in my truck, let's do this. I think never. I don't think that has ever happened to any farmer. Oh, we can. Hey, hey. I've traveled the world outside of my body. Physically, I've been to Milwaukee. That's it. I don't know why I went there. It was a, it was an order from my higher self. I brought sage and a tent, and I, I burned part of the forest down. On purpose, to cleanse it. Oh, mama. Oh, papa. I think everyone has a soulmate. I think that not everyone has like, a good sense of direction, though. 